Hello, welcome back to Tara by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hope you guys are having a great evening. I would like to do a spread and find out how Fergie is going to feel <clears throat> if Andrew should have the worst case scenario happen. Will she stand by her man? Will she stand by her man? Sounds like a country song. Will she stand by her man? She stand by her man if the worst case scenario comes. Worst case scenario for Andrew? What is going to happen? Oh, this is not good. This is someone who's losing. Yeah, this is like swallow your pride. Swallow your pride, Andrew. Okay, he might have to swallow some pride. So, will she stick by him? Will she stick by him? Judgment in reverse. Will she stick by him? Loss of a loved one. Uh-oh, that looks like it could be prison. Will she stick by him? 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 Yeah, they fear the loss of a loved one. He could go away. Will she stick by him? Will she stick by him? Oh, trying to aim for that happy family, that Ten of Cups. Will she stick by him? Smug pleasures. Yeah, got some conflicts there. Will she stick by him? Will she stick by him? Will she stick by him? Okay, the primary focus here is the death. It feels like a death right now. Everything feels over and done with. It really feels like a death, getting your titles removed. Life as they know it is not quite the same, but it was in reverse. So that means he's stuck. He's stuck in the situation. There is no changing. He cannot change the situation. He's not getting out of it. There is no getting out of it. He's got to face the music. Uh, the challenging position is the, uh, what is that? Justice in reverse. So he's basically doesn't want justice. He doesn't want the truth to come out. He doesn't want the karma. The, the challenging situation is he knows he's been dishonest and he's going to feel like everything's unfair and he's going to feel attacked. So he doesn't want the truth. He does not want the full truth to come out about him. That's really bad. Okay, I will pull these. I can hear my dog snoring. If you hear a little snoring in the background, that would be Odin. <laughs> so what we have here is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, he's coming up from... When will this nightmare ever end? He knows it's a total nightmare. He's been living in a nightmare. Oh, no, that's upright. No. Wait a minute. This guy's getting out of bed. He's facing the nightmare. Yeah, he is facing the nightmare. He knows he can't get out of it. And it is that what uh, another reader calls a stinking thinking card. And he's got to get out of his head so he can deal with it logically and how he can defend himself. So he is going to have to get up, start healing, so he can do that. So this is getting out of your head card, basically. So he needs to get out of his head. And it is a nightmare. And he's wondering, when is this nightmare going to end? And he knows he's been dishonest. So when is the nightmare going to end? I don't want justice to come out. Yeah. He's going to keep stinking thinking is what he's going to do. So what we have here for this card here is the fifth position is the past influence. The past influence is the, uh, it is the king of cups. And so he felt he was a mature love. I'm mature love. I'm Mr. Mature Love. Yes, he thought he was. He thought he was lover boy. Mature love with younger women. Mm -hmm. Then we have here for the future influences. The future influences is he was looking for new love, new fresh spark, new love. He wanted that. Yeah. Emotional fulfillment, a start of a relationship. Eee, start of a relationship is the Ace of Cups. Not sounding too good. Mm -mm. Nope, not at all. Then we have the seven, eight, nine. Ooh, here comes the 10, but I will pull more. So here we go. The seventh, sixth, yeah, seventh position, which is the questioner's feelings. Uh, he would like to leave. <laughs> he would like to leave. Uh, this is getting out of stormy waters. He'd really like to get out of stormy waters. 
he doesn't want to do this. He wants harmony, and but he'd like to get out of there. He'd like to leave. This is sort of the sad goodbye. He's afraid of a sad goodbye, too, where he'd have to leave his family. Uh, and that is the Six of Swords. So Sixes is all about trying to find harmony. So this is like leaving stormy waters to find harmony. So he does, he has to deal with this emotional baggage that he's carrying. And the words being with the cruelty, with the swords down, he's got to face it. He's got to face it. And the boat is, is a good time to go. It's a good time to leave kind of uh, energy. And so I think he would like to escape in some respects. He'd like to just get out, just leave, go away, disappear. He can't. He can't get out of it. Uh, what else can I say about the Six of Swords? Um, he want, Yeah, he wants to get away from the stress. And he's got this huge difficulty that he has to overcome. A huge difficulty to overcome. And he's not going to be able to get out of it. And blue skies. So that's kind of gloom. There's kind of a gloomy vibe to it. The eighth card is the um, outside influences. The outside influences, it's coming in really fast with the eight of wands. And that is in the upright position. So with the eight of wands, is it's fast acting, fast moving. It's just super fast speed. It just like hit him, it hit him too fast. Uh, that is business, that is news, that is media, and it's growing and growing and growing. And the clouds are starting to come in here. And eight's about jealousy. It's about infinity. It's not going to stop. It's going to keep coming. So he cannot stop these wands. They're coming in too fast for him. And that's the problem. They're coming for him. They're coming for him. And then we have here for the ninth position uh, is the hopes and fears. His hopes and fears is that judgment is not served. This is the judgment card and the facing judgment, facing your karma, facing your actions, facing your behavior, uh, facing your maker, being vulnerable and facing your maker. And then we have the orange and the color orange is, you know, facing obstacles and issues uh, but he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that. He wants to get away with it. He wants to put it behind him. There's those coffin cards, you know, those coffins behind him. We've got a person holding a skull and then we have the golden egg and the golden egg is about, um, winning. Uh, what else can I say? The golden egg, the golden egg is about just about success and profit. So he, they want to be successful. Uh, they want to put it behind them. And because we have that death here, they want a rebirth. He thinks he can have a death and rebirth in essence. This is sort of a death and rebirth in this position by not facing the, facing the music, not really truly getting uh, the justice, the judgment, facing the true judgment, not really paying any consequences, not uh, being held accountable. He doesn't really want to be held accountable. He wants to turn his back to it. And the final outcome is the Knight of Wands. I'm mean, excuse me, the page. That's a page. Page of Wands, not a knight. He's not on a horse. Page of Wands, and he is. Um, he wants a fresh start. He's hoping he can win, and she's hoping he can win. They're both hoping they can. So basically, this is for both of them, hoping that he can win. He wants a fresh start, and so that he can have a creative process and do something else with his life. He's going to have to find something else to do with his life. So he would really like to have a fresh start. That's what he wants. He wants a fresh start. Don't face the music. Have a fresh start. Uh, and then being able to manifest and make whatever they want happen would be the part of the reason for that. With the Ace of Wands flanking that also. And with the Ace of Wands, that's a surge of energy and being happy and enthusiastic. New business coming in, going in your favor, getting the thumbs up that you're A-OK -okay and you're doing good. Uh, and so that lightning bolt is a surge of energy. Lightning bolt is a breakthrough, having a positive breakthrough and growth. So he's really hoping he can beat all of this and succeed. And so is she. Um, she's not looking like she's going to leave him. It's looking like from the spread based on the question that she's holding out lots of hope right now. And she is not thinking of anything negative right now because the cards are not showing it 
not today. Uh, so she's, she's in a very hopeful mind space, and so is he. Uh, privately, when I did it a few days ago, I got, when this whole thing came down, I got that she's going to stick by him, and he needs her, let's put it this way, he needs her more than she needs him right now, emotionally and energetically. Um, and I got privately, if she should leave him and turn her back to him, he might consider doing the unspeakable. Don't want to say the word. You know what I'm getting at. And I got the, he would take control of the situation and I pulled the emperor card with the death card. And that would be his way of handling the situation. But if she stays by his side, he will be fine. But if she leaves him, he will completely fall apart. Uh, so his survival is really about the family unit staying together and staying by his side. Uh, and right now, the energy is saying she, she's focused on him winning and starting a new life and getting over this is what all of this is saying. Uh, under the deck, I have here, what do I have here? Yeah, I got the Queen of Wands in reverse. And so subconsciously, she's very likely could turn her back to him because she cannot be the, the rising phoenix. She cannot do good in business. It's going to do poor badly on her YouTube channel. She's trying to, you know, read books and do all that. So she may think about it. It's there. The card is there where she could turn her back. Uh, and the thought process is there subconsciously on her. She's thinking, well, is it best for me to turn my back on this guy? Uh, and so it's there. It's weighing on her. But consciously, she's focused on winning right now. She's focused on victory and success. So victory and success is what she's primarily thinking about. Oh, wow. And then on the other side of the inside of the deck, consciously, She's thinking how that this is a five of cups in reverse. Five of cups upright is sorrow, melancholy, disappointment. And then she would walk away. This is turning her back again, turning her back on your emotions, turning her back on passion. Uh, the red rose represents, uh, you know, sex and, you know, passion and that kind of loving kind of energy and sort of turning her back on it and turning her back on her emotions. So she, she's thinking she could literally do it, but she's right now focused on winning, but the mindset's there. It could, that maybe it would be in my best interest. So she's got a little bit of that energy going. Um, but today and probably until it's done and said and over with, she's probably not going to do any of this. She won't do this at all. She's going to stick by him for right now, completely stick by him. And she's really hoping that everything comes out in his favor. And it's just basically what I expected. Uh, but, you know, he is, as uh, far as I'm concerned, uh, he is a risk to himself at some point in time. But only, only if he loses Fergie and her support. So let's get how the girls are feeling right now. How are the girls feeling right now? How are his daughters feeling right now? Beatrice and Eugenie. How are Beatrice and Eugenie feeling about the situation? How is Beatrice and Eugenie feeling right now? How hopeful are they? How hopeful is Eugenie and Beatrice? How hopeful is Eugenie and Beatrice? Wow, got some flyers here. How hopeful is Eugenie and Beatrice? How hopeful are they? How hopeful are they for their father? How hopeful, how hopeful. How hopeful are they for their father? How hopeful are they? How hopeful are they? Wow, they're very hopeful. Very hopeful. We got the, we got the 10 of cups sitting right there. Very hopeful, they're hoping for that rainbow. They think the rainbow is gonna come, that they're gonna beat this. So the whole family is very hopeful. Challenging position is the the fact the family that they turn their back the hierophant in reverse he got cut he got everything stripped and taken away that's the challenge that is the big old challenge we know that no secret there 
and the focal point is it's a public it feels like a public failure we got the the world card in reverse so total public failure humiliation embarrassment in essence and the hidden energy is we have here the tower crashing uh, and it's to the worst degree this is where you have a chance at rebuilding yourself this uh, there is no rebuilding completely done over with sorry no more you're done accept the change accept the change that's the hidden energy they know that he can very well lose so they think god he might have to accept this for the rest of his life and be uh, painted and tainted um, a uh, you know i don't want to say i don't want to affect the the youtube thing so <laughs> you know what i'm getting at so anyways, we have here for the fifth, the past influence. The past influence, there was problems within the home. Uh, we have here the four of wands in reverse. Uh, so there was a little bit of a lack of stability going on. And what else can I say? There was not a lot of celebrations after hard work. You know, they probably didn't spend that much time together. There were some, there were some problems with celebrating and happiness within the family. And that was the past situation. It brought a lot of unhappiness to them, a lot of misery. And then the future, uh, they knew that his future was very emotionally conflicted. And it was kind of gloomy. Uh, as you can see, this guy's not doing well uh, with the Five of Cups. And what else can I say? There's a lot of sorrow. It created a lot of emotional upheaval uh, and disappointment in love. They felt very disappointed in the idea of probably even marriage and could a man even be loyal to me? So there was disappointment in love for the daughters. They, they worried about that for themselves, I would say. I'm wondering if they can cross that bridge too because there's a bridge there. Can I cross this emotional bridge? So we can get the next. Wow, they really think he's going to have a positive outcome. Here we go. So we have here the seven of cups as the decision in the situation is looking at all their options. We got to figure things out. We got to look at our, all our options and juggle it and, and pick out the best one. We got to really pick out the best one. This is a good positive angle. This is where it's upright and you have that moon face. Things are looking more happy and golden here. This guy's lost his options. So he's lost options. He's lost his options. He's out of options. He's got to depend on his lawyers at this point in time. So, and it's also a get, could be a gaslighting card where they're lying to you. And then we have here the liar card. Oh boy. We have here the seven of swords. The seven of swords is also about trying to do things differently. Uh, wanting to, they're hoping that he is honest on some level because the seven of swords, they got two swords here and he's taking some. Uh, so part of him, they're hoping part of him will admit some fault, uh, because that would make him look better here. Like there's absolutely no admitting anything and you leave You're you're complete, utter liar and total destruction. And you're leaving here. There's a little bit of hope that may quite possibly you might put some honesty and you know, yeah, you're not a hundred percent innocent here. You're not a hundred percent, uh, you know, at fault, but you're not a hundred percent innocent. There are some things you did wrong. Maybe you should say and admit the parts that you did wrong. So they are kind of hoping that he does do that. Uh, and that's basically what the Seven of Swords is. This person knows that they've been deception. They know they've lied some. And th subconsciously, a little bit, they kind of know they should admit some of that. They should have done things a little bit differently. And they, and they have a desire to speak some truths. There's a little bit of lies with a little bit of truths, probably. Then we have here the ninth position, which is hopes and fears. Wow. So the fear is that he's going to lose. I would say this is not what they're hoping for. They're hoping he has a new emotional beginning. But their fear is that's not going to happen. That he's not going to ever have any new emotional beginnings or positive sparks in life. Uh, that he'll have emotional fulfillment. He, they want him to have emotional fulfillment, a new start in the relationships that he has, uh, new building, a new spark, new everything. So they're hoping like this tower crashing situation can be a rebuild uh, for him and for the family. It's kind of like the way Fergie feels in that sense. And then here we have here the, the Ace of Swords. Look at that, that he's going to be the winner. 
and that the crown is going to help them get there. Uh, so that's cutting through, that's cutting through it, uh, that is speaking, you know, this truth here. Um, this is, you know, that, I, that, that crown there has got me. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, so this is an upsurge of mental energy. And he's going to control it because of the family, because of that crown. He's going to have to control it. He's going to have to control himself and he's going to have to control his words. And they know that he's going to have to control how much he's going to reveal with this card here. So he should reveal some, but control it is how that reads. So they are hoping that he does have a win. You know, they want some new emotional beginnings for him because of this here. But they know that he's so challenged and the fact that we got this here. So they do want that happy Ten of Cups family, uh, perfect family uh, life. And But this whole challenging thing is the fact he got cut. He got cut here with this Hierophant in reverse. He got cut. And, you know, duties, morals, the morals are in reverse. His morals were not in place. They were in reverse. So he was not a very moral guy. Not a moral guy whatsoever. And there was a lot of challenges within the home. And so, yeah, they're, they're kind of in alignment with their mother, I would say. And so hopeful, very hopeful. So what's at the bottom of the deck? The bottom of the deck we have here is three of wands. In the upright, this is like catching a star. And you've got lots of growth. You've got your wands on. Gonna, your wands are doing well. They're starting to grow. I've got business. Things are going beautifully. I got passion. I'm wearing red. I'm passionate. I've got the green of the growth. Things are great, but they're not so great. <laughs> it's in reverse. The ground is cracked. There's no growth. So fearing that he will not have any more creation and expansion in life. Um. He's going to be facing kind of this grim future, in essence, kind of a very bland future with nothing new coming in. This is like kind of like wishing upon a star kind of thing, you know, catching stars and healing. Stars are about healing and he's not going to ever heal. There's just not there's this lack of healing and, you know, his, he's standing on cracked ground and really broken up and just staying broken forever. Just because nothing, he can never grow. He can never expand. He, he's in a trapped position. And please excuse my dogs. So that is that. So anyways, whoa, I bumped you. No, that's my dog. Okay, sorry. Two schnauzies. Sorry. All right, you guys, they're going cray cray on me. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys. Yeah. <laughs>